Hey everybody, Krista Lindstrom here from Mortgage Simple. Welcome to Krista's Mortgage Minute. Today we're going to talk about divorce mortgages. Lots of questions this week about divorce mortgages and specifically separation agreements and why do we need them. So let's just uh, back up and talk about what is a separation agreement. So if you are going through separation or divorce, um, a separation agreement is a document that uh, you and your spouse negotiate typically uh, with the consultation of legal representation um, or mediation and you draft out uh, what's going to happen as a result of you two dividing. So it often addresses um, things like matrimonial property, debt, assets, uh, and stuff like that. So why do we need a separation agreement? The number one reason why we need it is the lender asks us for it. It's typically a condition of the mortgage. So people come to us for something that they refer to as a divorce mortgage or a spousal buyout, where one person wants to take over the matrimonial property um, and live in it, uh, typically for the purposes of keeping the kids in a similar residence. And we often create an equity payout to the spouse so that they can go purchase another home nearby with the proceeds from the equity inside of the home. So when a lender conditions us for the signed minutes of settlement, it's because they wanna know the details. The things that we address within the separation agreement is child and spousal support. Is child support and spousal support payable or receivable? It matters from a mortgage standpoint because that gets included in your debt servicing calculation as to how much you can afford on a home. The other thing that a separation agreement addresses is an equity payout. What's the value of the home? How much is currently owing? What's the remaining equity? And how is it being split between the two of you? We often will create an equity payout from one spouse to be able to go purchase something else. So that has to be identified in the minutes of settlement as well because it affects debt servicing ratios. And the third thing that's addressed in the minutes of settlement is something called dower. Um, so dower is one spouse releasing their um, rights essentially uh, to the matrimonial property. Uh, they will, their name will be taken off the mortgage, their name will be taken off the title, um, and they will move to a, a different property separate uh, from the matrimonial home. So those um, are the main things that are addressed in the separation agreement. We need it because the lender conditions us for it. Um, and it's a good idea to have this laid out with your spouse anyway. Thank you so much for watching. Talk to you later.